Hi, in this video, we'll see how to create a pie chart. There are various methods to create a pie chart. Let us see those. So in this video, I'll be showing you three different methods to create a pie chart. That is method one, method two and method three. So below this video, you can download this workbook. The name of the workbook is pie chart. The database which I've connected is global superstore 2017, same database. So let us see. So first of all, I'll show you how to create the pie chart with the method one itself, which is very simple and easy. So this is the kind of pie chart I'll be showing you how to create it. It's very simple. Same 30 seconds, you can create a pie chart. So first of all, I'll clear this filter here. Now you want to create a pie chart based on two things. What are things required? So if you click on this show, show me button, if I click on this pie, it says you need one dimension, you need one measures, one or two measures. So for, first of all, I'll select this one dimension and I'll select this one measure. So I'll first click on this show me button so it goes away. Select this market, press control key and select your sales. Once you select that, you can go to this show me button. And then if you click on this pie chart, if you see that's a pie chart, which is visible. The size is very small. If I want to increase the size on the toolbar, if you see there's a standard option given. If you say fit width, if I select this one, the width would be fit. If I say fit height, the height would be fit. But this is not the exact one which I'm looking for. I'll say for entire view. Now the view of this pie chart is bigger and I can easily find out. What is the chart all about? This chart is all about the market. Based on the market, they have been showing the sales. So the sales in this place is the highest. What is this place name? I don't know the name of this place. So if you want to give some labels, pick up this market and you can put the labels itself. Now you can easily find out. Here it says that is Asia Pacific is the highest sales. But what is the amount of sales done? So I want some figures. If you want some figures, right now you have put the label in the market. If you see that's a market as T. T means that's a label. Same way, if you want the exact figures written here at the bottom somewhere, pick up the sales and again drop into this labels part. And now you can understand in Asia Pacific, the sales is given as 4042658. These are the sales. The lowest sales is done in the Africa part. So it's very easy to figure out with the help of this pie chart itself. That's a very simple and easy method. Let's see the second method. How do you create a pie chart? I'll go to the sheet that is pie method 2 pie chart method 2 I'll be using the same chart using some other method so I'll just click on this cross sign now first of all what I'll do is I will just bring this sales and drop into this pane itself I'm getting the total sales I'm not getting the market wise sales this title I've modified that is uh, that's a total given here now whenever you create a chart by default it says as automatic if you click on this drop down in the marks card these are the different charts based on the measures and dimensions whichever you pick up the chart would be created automatically so what i can do is i can just say as i want the market pick up the market or let's say i'll just click on this drop down and select the option as pi so now it is giving me a total sales which is given i want to divide the sale based on the market so how i can divide it i can show you with the help of a color part so here it is nothing given no legend is given so i'll pick up this market and put into the colors part now if you see it says these are the sales done in all the areas and the area names are given here based on the color. The size is very small. Let's increase the size. Click on this drop down, select this entire fit. That is the entire view. Now I can see the entire thing. Again the same thing. If I want the area name, the market name, pick up the market, drop it to the labels part. Now it says these are the areas and these are the sales which are done here. So it's very easy to find out the things. Now if I just scroll it and change the position. The, the a market name comes and below that the sales are given here. So it is easy to figure out with the help of this method. There's one more method by which you can create a pie chart. So I'll just show you this. If I click on this place, if you want to create this kind of pie chart, which says these are the sales done based on the regions. That means in Africa, that is the sales done based on the category. What it says in Asia Pacific, these are the sales done. First of all, the sales are done highest in the Asia Pacific because of the size. Second thing is they are divided this three colors. What are those three colors? These are nothing but the categories. It says in Asia Pacific, the category of this red color that is technology is the highest. How do I create this kind of chart? Very simple and easy. So if you observe, uh, I've created in the rows, I've selected as market. Let's see, I'll, I'll show you how to work on it. So first of all, I'll clear this entire sheet, pick up the market and drop into this rows. Second thing is I'll pick up I'll just click on this drop down and select a spy. So if you see, I'm getting market wise, the sales, these are the market wise sales. I have to scroll down every time to see the sales. Why not select this option and say as entire view. So all the entire view will be visible and you can see it properly. Now let's figure out the size of all the areas are same. If you see every 
region they are saying as the sales is this much which is given the markets are given that's not a sales right now so if i select as sales and put into size based on the sales give me the size so if you observe the size is small that means the sales is less the size is bigger that means the sales are higher now it is difficult to find out um, if i want to find out based on the category i want to divide the sales based on the category so i want to divide with the help of color so pick up the category drop into the color now you see the colors are divided and you can see the exact sales based on this uh, these are the category wise sales which are given sometimes it is difficult to remember what is red color what is yellow color you can give some labels of the category how do you give the labels you have to put something whichever label you want i want category wise text i want so i'll drop it into this labels part now you can easily figure out for technology that is the sales which is done for furniture that is the sales which is done if you want some labels again like uh, the number of sales which are done pick up the sales put into the labels part it is very very easy to find out now right so i hope you have understood all three methods how to create a pie chart i hope you have understood that's all for this video